Yo, what is up you two? My name's Aaron and today we have another 5 tip Friday. You know, today is Friday and I'm really trying to stick to this upload schedule that I have. If you haven't, if you don't know what that is, go ahead and watch Tuesday's video and it'll tell you everything about my new upload schedule. So, today I'm going to be doing tips on how to rank up faster. As you see, I'm level 28, it's the max in the game. So far, you know, they're going to be releasing a, you know, uh, more levels probably today or maybe Saturday. I'm not sure, but as soon as that is released, I'll be ranking up and trying to get to those max levels. But without further ado, let's get into this video. So my number one tip is use different guns because whenever you use different guns, you gain XP for attachments gained, you know, every time that you're gun levels up you're getting xp for that so if you use the same gun and it's max level you're not leveling up and trust me you can have a max level gun and not be max prestige i'm pretty sure i got the razorback to max pretty quickly i think i might have gotten it on level 10 or earlier and oh my gosh look at that melee kill i've been wanting to do that since this game was out what well, since this game was announced and looky there i got it sorry about that random random bit of information i'm just watching this video and having fun with this call of duty black ops 3 beta that's all it is to me i know it's not going to be it's i'm hoping that the game's better because there are a lot of bugs but hey let's get back to the tips i know i could talk about this beta forever next play kill confirmed i know it's like what kill confirmed but seriously play kill confirmed and go for the tags you know go for your team's blue tags that is whenever the team kills your the other team kills your team and you're able to um you know deny their kill confirm tag and then go for the red ones where your team has killed the other team and a lot of people don't really go for them all the time but then again you see those people that try so hard to get the tags you know they'll just run across enemy fire dropping their blue tags everywhere and you can just sweep in behind them get the kills get their tags and get enormous amounts of xp next and what it's leading into is play objectives you know most people do play objectives i personally i do not i find going around the perimeters looking into an objective is the best way to play call of duty and the reason why i say that is because i like getting killed you know i don't really care about ranking up i haven't cared about ranking up since black ops 2 but this game seems like it's going to be one of those games I'm going to want to get to Master Prestige in. So, our next tip is always take the shot. You know, even if they're all the way down across the map, your teammates are firing at them. As long as you get a couple of bullets into them, it will register as an assist. And an assist in this game pretty much means you got the kill. You know, you will not see the kill on your kill feed or your scoreboard but you will receive the same amount of xp as your teammate did or whoever took the kill from you or whoever you were trying to take the kill from i think their logic behind that is you know in other games you would get 50 xp whereas the main person that did the killing would get 100 and they thought you know 50 50 you should both get 100 so i'm glad that they did this very good for ranking up and our last tip for today number five is don't get frustrated i know i say that about everything but in call of duty pretty much in any game that you play if you get frustrated you're gonna lose morale and you're just going to start doing terrible you know it's either you're gonna quit playing go back to call of duty advanced warfare or you're just gonna get off in general you know and you can't rank up if you're not playing that seems pretty obvious but a lot of people get mad that they're not ranking up and get off and kind of defeats the purpose you know and just remember that there are no challenges there's none whatsoever except for gun rank ups i get you get a little xp every time that you rank up a gun but there is no camo um camo challenges i guess you would say there's no you know you get grip you do get xp but there's not getting 50 kills while using grip challenges there's so many challenges that are going to be on the real game that's going to help you out 
so much. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Part 2 will be coming as long as someone comments in the comment section that they want part 2. Part 2 is going to be how to get better. You know, 5 tips on how to get better at Call of Duty Black Ops. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm out. Peace.